Hi, this is Catherine Dow with Network in Action Eastside. Today I have joining me Christy Jenkins with Christy Jenkins Real Estate. Thank you so much for your time today. I'm excited to meet with you. Oh, thanks, Catherine. I appreciate it. Yeah. So tell me, what made you go into real estate? Um, so I was a young mom and raising two girls with my husband and working a corporate job. And I just felt like uh I could do something better. I could do something that allowed me to be at home with them when I needed to be. I could be in the PTA. I could go to their school functions and I could still have a very fulfilling and successful career. And so at the time, my mom had recently um, left her corporate job and moved into real estate. And we partnered up together when my girls were, let's see, my oldest, who is now 22, was a year old and I was pregnant with my second. Oh, that's awesome way to create a family business and then be able to really get to have the life that you want and be able to sure. participate in your kid's life. So yeah, it was great. And at the time, you know, being with my mom, we were able to bounce things off of each other. She could help with childcare while I worked and vice versa. And so during those early years, it was, uh, it was really, really beneficial to have a partner in it. Nice. Well, I know it's been 20 plus years now, um, truly making you probably an expert in the space, but what do you feel like sets you apart from other realtors out there? Um, I think one of the things is I, I live and work in the same area that I grew up in and raised my own kids in. And so I know all of the neighborhoods. I know what makes each of them unique. Um, I know what areas have the highest equity build. I know where the new developments are going to be. And so I really feel like having lived and grown up and raised my own kids in this area, it gives me a really unique perspective that most people don't have. Um, and I also have the privilege of walking through so many different stages of life with families from first time home buyers. Um, all the way to their second, third home investment properties. Um, I recently moved some, uh, my parents and several of their uh, friends their age into retirement and assisted living facilities. So um, I think it's a, a really unique process to be able to walk through all of those different stages of life, having done it as long as I have and having been part of the community for as long as I have. Yeah, that's, yeah, it's amazing to be able to truly stay with them throughout the entire journey. Um, yeah, Their absolutely. home ownership. Yeah. I've helped one client sell 12 properties. Now we just closed on his 12th property. So, wow. Well, that's a lot of moving. <laughs> <laughs> some investment, some helping family okay. members. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. And then what is one tip that you would share that you kind of wish all home buyers knew before they started this process and this journey? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think a lot of people are, especially in this day and age when you can see so many things online and you get this really focused idea of what it is that you want. I think so many people think that their next home, their first home, whatever they're moving into has to check every single box. It has to meet all of their criteria. And if it doesn't, they they kind of get stuck. But I think there are so many things that are malleable when you move into a home, so many things that can be changed, so many things that can be, um, you know, it, small changes make a big difference. And I think some people get really, really super hyper-focused on checking all of the boxes. And I think if you're working with somebody um, who's got a lot of experience, we really can help guide you through what are the key important details or one of those ones that maybe you save for your next home or maybe you put on a project list. And so working through and going through kind of that list of wants and needs is I think a really important step that a lot of people miss. Thank you for sharing that insight. And Christy, if someone wanted to speak to you um, about helping them with their buying or selling of their home, what's the best way for them to reach you? Um, I always like to start out with a conversation. So either texting or calling me on my cell phone. I, I feel like I'm a pretty typical real estate agent and that I have it on me all the time, probably more than my family would like care to admit that I do. But um, I answer my phone all the time, day, night, weekends. Um, I'm very, very flexible. So the first step is always just having a conversation so that I can get to know you as a client, you can get to know me and we can decide if we're a really good fit. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for your time. I'm so excited to have you as a part of the Network in Action community. And I look forward to seeing your continued growth and success. Thank you, Catherine. I appreciate it.